Welcome back to Strange Things from Across the Pond. Now, after last month's drink, which I didn't finish in the end, it went down the sink, I couldn't stomach it, I'm feeling like a bit of a snack to cheer me up. I think I'll eat this turtle. <laughs> Alright, don't panic, I'm not actually eating a turtle. I don't even know where I would buy a turtle from. I mean, you, you can't eat them anymore. Anyway, uh, so this is a turtle bar, or, well, it says turtles, plural, and by the feel of it, there is three things in it. I imagine they're called turtles because of the shape of them, as you can see here. They look to be vaguely turtle shaped. So this is an original pecan, which I'm guessing means original flavour. Um, so yeah, pecan flavoured thing. The original caramel nut cluster made with USA grown pecans or pecans as some people call them. Uh, classically crafted since 1916. Oh, okay, well, this sounds good actually. Net weight 1.76 freedom units. Ah yes, yeah, so is that three pieces? Yes, yeah, three three chocolatey things inside. Mm, all right. This does look quite traditional, actually, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. I mean, I don't know what it is. This, just, I mean, obviously it's in a modern plastic packet and everything, but I can picture that being pretty much what it looked like when it came out in 1916, except maybe for this graphic here. I bet it was this sort of white and gold with the red through it and just, yeah, called turtles. Yeah. I might be completely wrong. Who knows? Uh, so, nutritional information I'll put along the top this time. And the ingredients are milk chocolate. Lovely. Sugar, cocoa... Uh, oh, yeah. Sugar... Uh, let's start again. <laughs> Ingredients are milk chocolate comprised of sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate, non-fat milk, butter oil, lactose, soy, lecithin, lecithin, which is an emulsifier, vanillin, and salt. Okay, yeah, I suppose you put, you get salt in chocolate, okay. Pecans or pecans, corn syrup, because murica, sugar, palm oil, non-fat milk, butter oil, and less than 1% of sodium hyacinate, caseinate, uh, no, no, no idea, more salt, natural and artificial flavours, and caramel colour. So not actual caramel in this, caramel colour. Okay. Right, contains bioengineered food ingredients. Oh, I wonder if it'll give me superpowers. Mm, possibly. They love me. Yeah, alright, okay. Let's open her up, see what's inside. Ooh, this looks interesting. Oh, look at that. I suppose they do look vaguely like turtles. This one's got a bit of a birth defect to it, but that one's not too bad. And that one's, yeah, almost turtle shaped. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, well, well, fairly standard chocolate confectionery items. Interesting, some of the milk fat has already come to the top, even though I've only had this literally a day at the time of filming. It's a bit rough around the edges, but that's fine. I'm going to stuff it in my gob and chew it anyway. Give it a sniff test. Hmm. All right, that is chocolate, obviously not regular chocolate a couple of months back i did the whatchamacallit bar that just smelled like generic chocolate this smells like the kinder surprise eggs that you can get well i think i heard a rumor that you can't actually get those in murica where this is from um, because i don't know people were shooting each other over them probably or something like that i don't know it's america what do you expect but anyone from the UK that has tried a Kinder Egg or Kinder Surprise Egg or whatever the hell they're called now will know they do have a certain smell to them, the chocolate in them. I think because they're aimed at kids, maybe they're extra sweet. We'll find out in a minute when I taste it. But they smell exactly like that. It's... Mm. Either that or the inside of a Cadbury's cream egg. Actually, yeah, I'm going to change... 
yes, I'm going to change my mind. They smell like the inside of a Cadbury's cream egg, definitely. Now I'm hoping they're going to taste like them, but somehow I don't think they are because you don't get pecan pecans in Cadbury's cream egg. But mm, whatever. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. Yeah, I was right, that tastes nothing like a cream egg. <laughs> It only smells like one. I like that though. So you can see there are your pecan nuts. They are, well, they're quite large chunks. They may not be completely whole, but you get a fair amount of nuttiness in there. You can just see along the top where I've bitten into it. You have the caramel that isn't caramel because it doesn't actually contain caramel. It's just caramel flavor or whatever it was it said. But all in all, that's, um, yeah, that's nice is that. They're a reasonably simple product by the looks of it. There's nothing else to it. It's just nuts, caramel and chocolate stuck together. It's nice though. I have to say, the chocolate, nothing to write home about. It's fairly standard chocolate. You could just buy a bar from the supermarket and get exactly this. You don't even need to buy the expensive stuff. You could just buy stores own brand chocolate and get it. The nuts are the nuts, and the caramel is, well, besides not really being caramel, tastes just like caramel, looks like caramel, I'm going to call it caramel. Yeah, this is, well, it's the sum of its parts, really. It's just three fairly generic ingredients stuck together. I mean, if it's been unchanged since 1916, that kind of makes sense. But it's nice. It's a nice little snack. It's not too fancy. It hasn't got too many silly ingredients. I mean, you can basically boil it down to three things. I know it lists a lot more on the packaging, but it has to. But it's basically chocolate, nuts, and caramel. Stick them together, stick them in a packet, make people eat them. Can't complain. I'm going to stuff this one in a hole now. I don't know what it is, but they remind me of Christmas. I think it's the nuts. When I was growing up, we always had a big bowl of nuts in the house around Christmas time. This seemed to be in season at the supermarket. You could buy like a big kilo bag of mixed nuts. Yeah, I always like the um, the pecans. But yeah, that's what they remind me of. If you could get like a big bag of these, instead of just three at a time, I think they'd make a, a great little Christmas day snack with those. Yeah, they're good at those. All right, let's do conclusions. All right, conclusions. Fairly simple, really. It's it's a nice product it's there's nothing about it really jumps out at me like i said it's fairly generic chocolate the nuts are the nuts and the caramel are it's caramel that's about all there is to it there's three things gone into making this fairly simple product fairly simply manufactured as you can see it, they don't mind it being a bit rough and ready around the edges a bit misshapen part of the charm you could say there's not a lot to say about it really. I'm going to quickly cut one in half so you can have a proper cross-section look. There you go, that's what you're looking at, that's what you're biting into. Chocolate, nuts, caramel. That's all there is to it. And it's a nice product. It's fairly unremarkable. It's just a nice thing to eat. Yeah, if you see it, I highly recommend you get it. Obviously not if you're allergic to nuts, but otherwise... Yeah, get it and eat it. Putting this in my face now, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video on doing stuff and filming it. Please don't forget to press the big button here in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you liked what you just saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it. And as always, thank you for watching.